Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach the Laravel 11 school management system. In our last video, I have shown the demo of the system. So here, here this model, we have a schools management system. So here, if you want to see the demo, here simply here, this is the page. Uh, you will be able to enter the student details. So here, I am going to add this Raja. You have to select the DOB of Raja you can select here the DOB as like this you can select like this so address I'm going to select as USA click register now button here the Raja has been registered you will be able to edit the record and edit the record you can can manage the Raja's records over here okay so the record title uh, some other title okay uh, first term first term term date pay date something like that first term record something like that. click add button you will be able to add it. so this is how we have maintained the system okay, so how to do it the things okay so what you are going to do is so this project I am, I am going to include this edit and delete or everything so here this is a Raja here this everything is displayed this is how we have calculated the student marks student uh, all the student details everything you have calculated like this right so we will do it the system step by step first what I am going to do is I am going to go to G drive here I am going to create the new project school manage month app CMD you have to go to the Laravel official website so here you no need to go to the official website you will be able to go to the official website so here is when you go to my website name which is tutorsfunny.com you have first link first one you can click on this okay, you have, if you want to see all the video uh, tutors you will be able to check everything here so here you will be able to see here this one yeah, this is the step by step process I have explained. First, you have to write compose create project Laravel Laravel uh, school management app. If you are right like this, you just copy this command. You have to go to the directory where you are going to create the project. Type on the address bar, open up this command from uh, I already opened it. Okay, sorry. Okay, already there. Yeah, you, you make sure you are open it inside the folder inside the folder name after that you right click what is the command you are copied here this is the project name if you want to make any spelling mistake you have to correct them over here at the moment we don't have any spelling mistake press enter key on your keyboard now you have to wait until the project has been created now here you can see that my project is installation has been completed successfully you have to go inside the project so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the command cd school management app press enter key you have to go inside the folder now I'm going to open up this folder project in my VS code editor you have to type the command code space block now the project is open up the VS code editor successfully you will be able to see here now what you are going to do is here, I am going to this is a folder, he have a, all the folder structure you will be able to see over here. Now here, what you are going to do is first step, I am going to mention it my project, here you will be able to see here. You have to configure the databases. Okay, so you have to open up your XAM server, this is XAM server, so you have to click admin. Okay, so here I am going to uh, name it, you have, here you can see defaultly. It is come as you have to go to the database configuration go to the env file dot env file here default it come as a sqlite database has been sqlite you have to change it as sqlite to my sql so how to change it so here you can this all things you have to select them all down to control key plus forward slash on your keyboard plus forward slash 
control key plus forward slash on your keyboard you press all together you have to uncomment it, everything now here we have a database name you have to change it you will be able to change the database name which is a uh, we will be change it as a uh, school management so I am going to create the database name, databases over here so you have to click on new Uh, what is the name I have given? DB School Management. This is the database I am going to create. Database has been created. That's all. You only the things you have to create the database only. Other all the table creation, everything you have done, Blarabal migrations. Okay, so this was the name you have created. You have to specify the name of the databases over here. You have to specify the database name. After that, use of credentials, you have to enter the user credential of the username and password of the database so use while i install the database uh, jam server my username is root passwords back black okay after that we have to change the database type which is a mysql okay, you have to change the database type as well that's that's the thing you have to write file save or that's thing you have to write you have to save file save or that's the thing you have to write now we have successfully configure the databases perfect now what you can do is after that uh, i'm going to run the my project and check the welcome screen or the welcome screen look like how to how to run the laravel project you have to go to the terminal new new terminal you have to run it here php addition uh, so Press enter key on your keyboard. Now you have seen the uh, port which will be running. I just copy this, paste on the browser. Uh, what is the problem? Uh, the DB session and everything. I have a problem here sometimes. You have to modify it. Ah, okay, the problem is this. What thing is we have to to make the migration command so control c to stop the project i'm going to type the command php artisan migrate okay Here table all the tables are migrated so you have to press the up and down arrow of your uh, keyboard and you have to take the command okay php artisan serve again okay in uh, rather than type again okay it is a simple one if you are type it take too much of time uh, make the time so you have to uh, get the help of your up and down uh, arrow of your key you can get the comma uh, run the application of laravel okay press enter key now you again you have run the project now let's check now you there are as go away here you successfully you will be able to get the laravel 11 dash here you successfully get the laravel 11 dashboard like this right perfect now what you're going to do is after that you have to go to the migration first first step you have to go to the migration what is the migration which is it is nothing but a create a tables what are the tables you have created we have to create two different tables one is a students table and the one is a student records table right so first step I we are going to proceed to create the student table. So let's proceed the let's proceed with the creating the new table. So let's copy this. So let's bring, uh, copy this and bring to our command from window here. If the project is already running, don't close the project. So uh, parallelly running the project we have click on the plus symbol to open up the another uh, terminal here we are you have to face you have to paste the command to create the migration file so i'm going to how to create the migration file of the student table i'm going to create it uh, in laravel we have to call it as a student table creation we have called as migration so phpartisan make migration colon migration create 
So you have to specify the name of the table. What's the table name? You have to specify the name of the table. Sudan's, which is the table name. You have to specify the name of the table, correct name. This is okay. So uh, here you have to observe this one. This is not a uh, sing. This is not a uh, singular. It's a plural. We have to write along with this. Student, not is wrong. Students. Okay. Press enter key. Now the migration part is done successfully. It is created inside this directory. So go to databases, migration. Here we have the migration file. Click on this. Yeah, this is the simple stuff. Only the ID is default. It will be created. Timestamp, time and time and date should be created automatically. Here we have to specify the columns. What are the columns you are going to create? So I am going to create the following columns of the students. What are the columns? I have to create a student name, DOBB in which nothing but the date of birth, address and state. This is all thing I just copied, paste on it over here. Here the, you can see this is a name, it should be the string type, DOB is a date type, date or date type, string which is address, string which is a status, defaultly it will be the active. Okay, here we have uh, this one. Uh, we are not going to put the combo box and display we just put it this one active okay if there any pro if you want to disable the student there will be the deactivate button we will deactivate it so it will at the, the default it will come as active so it will be activated when the student is registered it may the student become activated okay if you want to deactivate the student you just go to the database and we will be able to make the validation okay it's, that's the thing you have to do this is very must okay the active Thing is must when the student is registered student become active student right so that this will have to do the things professionally accurate way that's a must when you have go to the industrial expert of the laravel program or any other software developer you have to make as a industrial standards right that is a very essential stuff to go on up your uh, software development journey that is a must right okay so let's come all things are done it so after make sure you have save all after save all i want what the what the, what the things you have to you have to go to the documentation you have to run the command php artisan migrate this is the command you have to write copy this you have to again you have to otherwise you can type php artisan migrate if you have a good Press enter key. Uh, why is uh, what's the problem? Okay, sorry, I have made a misspelling mistake. Artisan here successfully created. If you want to check whether the table has been created or not, you go to the database table. You have to click on this your database for the database you have created. Here, the following tables has created. Here, students table has been created. You have to click on this students table. Inside the student table, you will be able to check, uh, see all the student columns. What are the columns student has? These are the student got. Student names, DOB, address, status, everything is there. I hope you guys, this one helps you uh, to you. I will continue this uh, lesson in my upcoming video tutorial. Thank you for watching.